three, the clinic. Of course, the clinic was there to dispense medicines, to look after the sick, and sick in many ways, mentally, physically, uh, whatever, because spiritual sickness was dealt with in the chapel or in the church. So the clinic also had another hidden or subtle agenda. It is at the clinic that uh, belief in what causes illness in African tradition, traditional life was changed. In other words, the aim of the clinic was to change belief in what causes illness and even death or death. So at the clinic, we, we were told that you are suffering from malaria and malaria is not caused by a witch or by spirits. Malaria is caused by, is it some bacteria or germ or whatever it is, that uh, a female Anopheles mosquito will bite you and introduce a virus or whatever it is in your a bacteria in your blood. And this is what causes the fever and everything. Whatever sickness you, you, you suffered from, you were told the cause of this sickness is this. But of course, that doesn't mean that the people took, took, they took everything, they took such things with a pinch of salt. If there was no treatment, if I was not cured at the hospital, I went back to, my, to the diviner or to, to the herbalist in the village. Um, so that, that, that was the clinic. So apart from, uh, apart from converting people to Christianity, the clinic was also trying to convert people to modern medicine, modern Western value, values and most Western epistemology of how to understand how no, uh, uh, things as scientifically understood. Um, but let me yeah, let me give you this example. An interesting study was done by Dr. Walima Kalusa. Some of you, if you did history, you might have known him. Doc, he was in the Department of History, and he, his PhD was uh, was in on in um, medical history or something like that. He he went to Johns Hopkins University in the U.S. and his his site his field work was in Ikeleng, in northwestern province. Um. The, 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 this is where Water Fisher and the CMML started this mission. It's a big mission, Kitokoloki and, and other missions. So, Walima Kalosa was told by some old missionary that when Fisher came and started giving water painkillers and things like that to people, People found it incomprehensible and actually ludicrous that they were asked to drink the medicine, to drink the painkiller, or to drink whatever. Because they didn't see how you can drink a Panadol to cure pain. You have pain in the head. They didn't see... Uh, the point. So most of them would hide, carry the the painkiller, go home, get a razor blade. Somebody makes some cuttings on on the forehead or in places where the pain is. They crush the painkiller and rub it in. So different way of understanding. Tradition 
against modernity. Um, so that's uh, an example I wanted to give.